everyone, it's Mrs. Watson from MrsWatsonEducation.com, my personal blog where I get to share with you the other fabulous educators and students around the world, some tips and tricks I've picked up along the way. So today's topic is our virtual science fair and I'm going to give you a template so if you're following along my blog and you scroll through and read through it um, at the bottom you'll actually be able to get a copy of the template I'm sharing in this video. So in the year 2020 to 2021 we were faced with so many unique challenges and one of the things as a science teacher that I had to try to figure out was how to make our science fair process digital. I had a few students that wanted to continue working in the science fair throughout the school and they did amazing projects and then we got to the point where we couldn't have a school fair where you have the normal trifold board set up and the interviews and I needed to find an alternative and this is what I came up with. Now this um, template was actually used by Every, well, not everyone, but most people that competed in our district fair because I shared this template with them and it was pretty um, straightforward for everyone else to use and pretty successful. And we are taking the same template, um, the students who are competing from my school and our county to the state competition soon. So it seems to have been a pretty successful way to do a virtual science fair project presentation. So let me go ahead and share with you what I've done. So I am sharing the Google Slides presentation. You can convert it into um, PowerPoint as well. But basically, it is a presentation where each slide has different things. Now, the first slide is going to be the directions that you would delete if you were a student before you shared. Um, shows you basically what the trifold backboard would normally look like. Um, gives you some tips that I'm going to be going over as well right here. And then the link to the video tutorial that I'm you're watching right now, okay? Um, so that's just there. The second slide, um, as the school uh, director that organized the science fair, for any students who participated, I needed some registration information so I could contact them, their parents, um, know what category they're competing in for judging. So this is a very helpful for me as a school coordinator. Um, if you're a coordinator watching this and setting up your science fair, obviously you could change this to what your needs are. Um, if you're a student watching this and your teachers don't need it, just get rid of it, okay? And then the third slide is going to be where you have your tri-fold backboard, but you know, don't have to glue and paint, uh, glue things in and all that stuff that you you normally would do for a traditional board it's all digital and it looks this is the way it looks it looks exactly like it would normally look with the same setup um the great thing about this is that it's completely customizable so you can click on the different fields and just like you would on a powerpoint presentation change that to the color you want for your scheme um try to make it you know visually appealing um you might be able to change the font a little bit i would not however change the sizing of the font because I have it very specific so most of the time when you copy and paste your work into these fields it would or should fit. Um, another thing so I've had students you know change the colors of this some of the um, the font um, but not the font size anyways I already have this formatted to make it work kind of like a website. So if you're making any customizations with this, um, just be very careful not to adjust the formatting if you want to keep it as I've set it up for this to work, okay? Um, and let me kind of show you what, what the whole product looks like. So if you go to share this project, so you've completed all the work, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment, and you share it either as you're going to save it, download it as a PDF file, which is right here. And this is what it looks like or you share it in um, preview mode which is this way which so it's the same thing just so this is a PDF and this is a document um, a slides presentation what you are able to do is as you are going through and so a judge is looking at your board if they can't read the specific pieces um, they could just click through and it will go to the slide where all that information will be bigger and that is very cool and you click here it goes straight back to your board this is particularly helpful if you have like pretty intense data tables that you need to you know show in a larger scale so you can see what actually is happening there pictures um, that show or graphs are going to be showing your project results and what you were doing throughout the project there so all of this is already linked and that again works as well in the PDF file. So it kind of just functions almost as a mini website the, with the finished product. Again, when you create the, um, the backboard, you could customize it, but if you want to have that finished product work the way I have it set up, don't um, delete and make your own little boxes, just reformat the ones I've already created there for you. So let me show you, um, I'm going to skip slide the, this video one for now, I'll finish this uh, presentation with that. Um, so if you go through for each slide, this is the purpose. Now, 
Now, in addition to having a slide there, I also put some uh, tips and tricks that I help my students complete their science fair. Um, they've been doing this for a while, so these are things that you know come up quite often. So just some questions that are leading guiding questions to help them with the purpose. So what you would do is you would, you probably have your purpose typed in somewhere in the document already as you were completing a science fair project. So you just copy and paste it into here so it's nice and big and then copy and paste the same thing into the purpose box on your board slide. So you do the same thing for your abstract. Again, I have directions there to help guide you on um, designing and writing your abstract materials, procedures, graphs, etc., diagrams, pictures. You could add more slides if you need to. Um, I would just basically duplicate it um, so you have the same formatting. Data tables, of course, results, conclusion. And again, each slide has some tips to help you write those parts. And all you do is type it in and then copy and paste it into your board, right? Your virtual ba um, backboard. Now, the last thing I want to share with you is the way that this worked for judging for my students because, you know, they were able to create these backboards and I could go through and click and see everything. It was wonderful. But part of the judging in the science fair process is where you get to share what you did with people, experts in their field, um, different people from around the the city, county, state, if you're uh, depending on what level you get to. So I had my students create a two minute when they did the school fair and the requirements changed to a 10 minute for the regional fair and an under 10 minutes for the state fair. So your requirements of your video might change based on the level of fair you're at. And so you might need to make multiple videos. But basically they made a video sharing their project just like they would be talking to a judge. Now, I recommended that they use Zoom or Teams. Um, to basically you're going to create a meeting with yourself. Now I find Zoom to be a little bit more user friendly than Teams, even though I use Teams to teach. When it comes to like just recording videos, if you have a meeting with just yourself in it, um, I think Zoom is a little bit more user friendly. So basically when you make the video, you're going to make your meeting, you're going to hit record after you get it set up, and you're going to just share, just like I'm sharing this document with you right now, you're going to be able to share the PDF or share the presentation. And as you're talking, you can move yourself around around if you're on Zoom. And um, just like right here, I can move myself. Oh, I didn't even do that right. Okay. Um, I can move myself. Yay. Let me see. Oh, I made myself bigger. There we go. Um, but you would be able to record your, your presentation, talking to the judges, sharing what you did. And, you know, if you're going through, so, you know, welcome. My name is Amanda Watson. This is my project. I'm really excited to share it about you, with you. Um, this is what I did going through that. And you get to the part where you want to show them a picture. Like, this is how I set it up. You could just, as you're talking, and this is in the background, you can just click there and you'd be able to show the judges in your video to how that got much, that, how, that, how that's bigger. There's more details. And that would be your basically assistant to go through with that. And I think that's just, just a really great way. Um, same thing, your data table, your graphs. That's a lot of the things they don't want to see you reading. Most of the time, judges don't want to see you reading from the boards. So you wouldn't want to read exactly from your board doing during a video presentation. So you just use these as a guide um, to show them, well, my hypothesis was this. Um, and then really talk about the data tables and the things that you found. And you can just zoom in using that whole presentation method. Now, the last thing I'd recommend if you are a school coordinator doing this um, at like a larger level or a student if you're trying to share this really easily with your teachers um, sometimes you could just download like things into your virtual drives and then share those links that way but I've found that it's much much easier um, and a lot of times just to upload your videos to a YouTube account um, if you have a Google email address, you have a YouTube account, and then um, that makes it a very easily shareable link. Um, as the director, a coordinator for Science Fair, um, I had my own that students, if they didn't know how to do that, I would either teach them how to do it if they wanted to, or um, I would just, they'd send me their videos and I'd upload it that way so that it could compete in the district fair and the state fair with the YouTube links. Um, pretty easy to do. Um, you just create the video, upload it in, to put the title in, change your share settings there. And then you have a URL for the video. So I would recommend that there. So I hope you, uh, you know, this was helpful on some level. Um, again, if you go to my blog, you get the free template of this uh, presentation document. So you can see that. And 
Happy sciencing. This is fun. Enjoy it. If you're a student, congratulations for even trying. I'm really glad that you're exploring your own curiosities. Um, if you're a coordinator, you can do this. I promise. Um, this is really cool. And hopefully we'll go back to the crazy big fairs with all the boards and all the judges in the future. But this is a really nice alternative. I'm not going to lie. I really like not having a hundred boards in my classroom to grade and look at. I just have everything digitally and it's nice and easy to read. So um, hopefully this helps out. Enjoy and thank you for watching. Don't feel free to um, subscribe, link, all the stuff, all the social media things if you want to see any of my other posts as well. Okay, bye.